Thank you. And uh, I got all night. So uh, I'll welcome, and I, I do think that there will be many of you in the crowd that will ask questions afterwards, so I'm here for the long haul. First and foremost, uh, I'm going to reiterate some of the same points that we touched on last night. Um, what happened in Minnesota and what has happened throughout our profession was absolutely wrong. This is a position this has been internally discussed. This has been externally discussed. FBI, IACP, other organizations recognize wholeheartedly that that was a picture that was discussed. Reverend Stone talked about losing tears last night about his son and fear for his son. And my man over here worried. I too lost tears. I represent a police profession, which I know that at least 10 officers will lose their lives as a result of that idiot in Minnesota. Violence begets violence. The problem is, and the real talk, and I think that, uh, ironically, Minister Ferguson and I will probably be in agreement. The streets are violent. Violence begets violence. Is that going to be the last event? Absolutely not. And anyone with common sense knows. We have 100,000 violent contacts a day in law enforcement. Last week, we ran five search warrants. We made multiple arrests, not one incident. There are going to be incidents. The violence that's driving it, we need good housing. We need equality. We need a lot of things to change. As far as the Starfield Police Department, what you need to know for the citizens of Starfield is first and foremost, we do a very good job at trying to vet our personnel. We're nationally accredited. What that means to the average person, we train a lot. We have high standards and we do everything we can to hold accountable. To, in, to include um, training that practices on timing, on patience, on verbal judo, to where you don't escalate anything. Now I replaced the first African American police chief of the city of Starfield. My pledge to him was I wasn't going to take a step back on that role, and Stuart will attest to that. We've already been challenged. I made my statements internally. I recognize the moment right now, right here. Our officers are young. They will be held accountable if they violate anyone's rights, but they make no mistake about it. They're outstanding men and women that care very much about this community. I'm an advocate for police standards. I'm an advocate for police accountability. And I might disagree with some of you. I'm an advocate for police pay. Because right now, make no mistake about it, our police force is in competition with fast food restaurants. Yet we give them guns. We give them ammunition. We ask them to make split second decisions. Now, I'm not taking away against fast food restaurants, but the difference between the life and values and getting your hamburger right are two different areas. So I think that we can agree on those issues. Now, as far as Saturday, absolutely. There's no guarantees that there are certain elements that might show up and try to derail that. But since this meeting has been planned, we have countlessly, we met on Sunday for several hours. We met today for several hours. We'll meet every day this week in planning and trying to train this young police force and understand and, and Representative Shaq Taylor's actual handout will be part of our training because I was just trying to write up a PowerPoint on that. So thank you, sir. It's going right in. We're going to have the same hand out. That's what coming together as a community is about. So I will try to make clear that I answer the questions directly. And uh, if you don't feel comfortable with the answer, or and we have to, uh, like Reverend Stone said, there's going to be some disagreement. This, this kind of uh, crowd, we're not agreeing on everything especially the fact that I'm sitting here with a badge and a gun. I cannot defend or try to own hundreds of years of, of history and try to make an argument other than the fact it hasn't been good. I recognize that. And I've said very clearly with Reverend Stone and Representative Shaq Taylor in our private meetings, we're ready for change. 
I'm ready for keeping standards high in Mississippi. You have no idea in law enforcement of how hard that is. And accountability, I'm ready for that. But let's have a very real discussion. If you want professionals, start talking about what it takes to get professionals. Don't throw Bubba a badge and a gun and say, go at it. 